hello guys in this video in TIE portal lab I explained to you how to use TON and TOF timer double click on TIE portal here click on create new project here I give the name for this timer and click on create here click on configure device now click on add new device now here you select controller and click on Smatic S7-1500 CPU here I am selecting 15-15-2 version uh, also selecting S6-ES7 and scroll down click add now click on this box uncheck this click on next button also remove this check from this checkbox click on next here you select full axis and click on next read this summary and click finish here you click on ethernet puffin net socket here you see ethernet addresses you click on add new ethernet and here up click on network new you see here this green line the pn profinet pn slash 1e underscore 1 is up here now click on this arrow to expand here you click on add new device for HMI click on HMI click on metric comfort panel here click on 7 inch display click on this TP 700 comfort click on this arrow select this 6 AV2 and click OK now here yeah, click on this down arrow select this PLC one and click on this right checkbox now you see link with PLC and HMI is up here click on next another next 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 and next finish now this root access screen is up here click here to expand this screen remove this unnecessary text select and delete delete both and now you scroll up here for new ladder diagram click on program blocks here click on main OB1 now you see the link between PLC and HMI is established and here on main OBI button you see on the down screen is up here click over it here you can create your later diagram so first we create one motor latching later diagram for this purpose we will take no switch double click now click on NC contact first click on this line ladder diagram take one this by double click on this NC switch and one output for the motor now here on the vertical line of the ladder diagram here click on this right arrow now click on this arrow select this arrow and click on this 
and no contact you can click on this arrow and click upward arrow this this close the contact now here we write m100.0 post start button here m100.1 for stop button contact here for motor one we write here motor one here you write u0.0 .0 for motor output contact and now here you rename this tag one click on rename write start start push button and click change for this tag to right click rename tag and write stop push button stop push button now click change also here for tag for tag for the output right click rename tag motor one click on change now select this tag copy and paste on this now this first stage is completed when the mo you press the motor start button the motor will start it and when you release this push button the motor will be latched with this contact Q0.0 .0. now here in the second network click here click on the normally open contact now click on this line click on this instruction here we use a timer now you can select this line break this T on timer put on this green button and give the name motor 2 on click OK now for the preset time PT click on it we have to give here 10 seconds so type T hash 10 S for less time you have to double click give it the name MD2 timer ET right click define tag here you select this global memory here you global input after here select this line and here click on this output and you write Q0.1 for motor to output rename it motor to click OK now this this vertical line give here the contact click on this right arrow now give here the no contact after that you bring this tof here you write motor 3 timer click OK select this output line and give you the output contact for the motor 3 this is the motor 3 so Q 0.2 here right click on this tag and give it to the name 
motor 3 click on change same here you have to the, give the name copy this motor to contact output copy this motor to contact and paste on this contact click on this PT preset time here we give also the 10 second and click on this ellipse time for this time I double click right here MD underscore 3 underscore timer E T now right click this tag for ET and define tag you can give here global input data type is time and define it click on this root screen select this button for the start second for this is stop now one this circle for the motor one from this basic object you click this text we will give this motor motor one name copy both paste and another paste Now give it the name motor motor one motor two motor. for time you have to take this text number text here down copy paste here now the screen is completed we here give the name for this button start button so double click on this text right start button you give stop push button and yes. so okay.